Hey y'all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to my Vintage First video in collaboration with Patrick from Trusty Huckster Mercantile. <laughs> new to my channel, hello, my name is Vinny, and I am an avid antique store, thrift store, flea market junkie. I like a wide variety of things, but with this video, we're going to be looking at my small but cool antique lunchbox collection. I only have a few pieces, but I am really happy with what I do have. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. Where my obsession for vintage lunchboxes came from is beyond me. I guess I just woke up one day and decided that was one of the first things I wanted to start collecting. So as time went on, we started hitting up all of the antique malls in the area to see if we could find any, and we found this one in 2007 at a place called Old Town Antiques in Gaithersburg, Maryland. So if you're ever down that way, check them out because they do have some good stuff. They can be a little claustrophobic because they are rather tight and the booths can be pretty jam-packed if you're not careful. So again, we bought this back in 2007, so about 13 years ago, I was 12 years old, and uh, the person's booth had three lunchboxes in them. This was one of them. They had Land of the Giants, and they had another one that I can't remember off the top of my head. They had $35 on this one, which was very, very reasonable at the time. And the Land of the Giants one was over $100. I, it was in pretty good shape. So it was understandable, but we went ahead and picked this one up for 35 which I thought was a really good price. And like I said, I don't know where it happened. It just kind of snowballed. Like I must have just dreamt of them, and yeah, that's just how that went. But the first one and is from 1963, and the graphics on here are fantastic and are in excellent condition. You'll have to pardon the glare. This is made by Aladdin Industries. But the imagery on here is just incredible. Here's the mansion that they bought, I guess. And the inside is in really good shape, too. I don't have the thermos. Now, there is an antique mall in Pennsylvania that does have one of these, and I can't remember how much it was. I think the thermos may have been in really rough shape, that's why I didn't buy it. Had it been in good shape, I probably would have just bought both of them and just resold the lunchbox. But unfortunately, the uh, thermos just wasn't in the shape that I wanted it to be in. Now, I don't like things to be mint, you all know that if you watch my videos, but I do like them to be in somewhat good shape so that way they last even by the time I'm not on this earth anymore. But yeah, I mean, it's in really good shape and I... I love, love, love this piece. I did have these displayed in my room for a while when we were living at my grandmother's house. And then over time, I just accumulated a lot more and there were just other things that I wanted to display. And I didn't want to get rid of these. And if I were to sell this today, I would, could probably fetch about 100 to maybe even $130 just because the condition is really, really nice and clean. And, you know, this is a 57-year-old piece and for it to be in the shape that it's in is quite remarkable. The next one that I'd like to share with you all is one that I picked up here where I'm living now. I got this at an antique shop and I think I got it for... I think it was 15 and then they had like 15% off so it was like a dollar ninety-five off or a dollar ninety off it's in really good shape for its age. Um, by the way, it is the Walt Disney School Bus. And I love it. Now, I don't want to say that I'm not a fan of Disney because I do like it, but I'm not like hardcore Disney. But I do like the vintage stuff. And the images on here are fantastic. And you've got all of the classic Disney characters. Now, it is missing the handle, but I really don't mind that because you know, it's just for display purposes, and I got it so inexpensively. So, yeah, this is a really, really fun piece, and I enjoy having it in my collection. 
Now this is a really fun one. This is Robin Hood, also made by Aladdin Industries in 1956. I got this at the flea market that we always go up to in Pennsylvania. And I think I got this from someone who does clean outs. And as you can see, it's rough. It's got wear and tear all over it. And the back is pretty bad. It looks like somebody spray painted it. Now I'm not gonna attempt to get this off. Or actually, maybe it's just fade. I don't think it may be even spray painted because look, you can still see the um, rust right here. But yeah, and it's the same image as what's on the front. So I'm not really all that worried about it. And this is the side that you wanna display, or at least that I want to. Inside's pretty good, I would say. So I think I only paid a few dollars for this, so I was really happy with that. And to be from 1956, and despite the back, to be in this shape, that's pretty good. Now let me show you guys the sides of this one. Focus on that for you all. So anytime I see these in antique shops, I do expect them to be a little pricey. There's one um, vendor at... I think it's the Black Rose in Chambersburg. I'm sure you've seen Jocelyn, Crazy Lamp Lady film there. He's got a bunch of really cool ones, but he wants top dollar for them, and I, I just can't get myself to pay that for something like that because, I mean, I like to pay up for some things, don't get me wrong, especially if I haven't seen them before, but it's important to do your research and know what you are buying before you pay somebody's outrageous price at an antique mall. The next lunchbox I would like to show you all is a really cool one. It's Roy Rogers and Dale Evans Double R Bar Ranch. I believe this is probably from about 1950. And I really like the art. So let's go ahead and I'll give you guys a close-up of the lunchbox here. Which, by the way, I paid $10 for. So we've got Roy Rogers on trigger and we've got Dale Evans in the background. I watched Roy Rogers' biography a while ago and I thoroughly enjoyed it. They were very, very nice people from what I could tell. And they were very active even up until their later years. And yeah, they were just great. They loved kids. I mean, he didn't do a TV show for nothing. I know that they had biological children and I think they also adopted children, especially those with uh, special needs and uh, things like that. From what I remember from the biography, it's been a while since I've seen it. But yeah, this lunchbox is really, really cool. And it's got RB on the bottom, and it has a product of the American Thermos Bottle Company. And that was in Norwick, Connecticut. So that one's really cool. Now, I did find these on separate occasions at the same flea market. This one, the thermos, I did end up spending, I think, $20, either $15 or $20, one of those two. And I did pay that because I only invested $10 into the lunchbox, so I'm only in this complete set for $30. So I thought that that was a very reasonable pickup on my part, or yeah. So it's cool. Um, the thermos is not, like completely intact. Um, it's missing the mercury glass interior, but it's still here, and it is just a really cool piece of display. I mean, the graphics on these old tin lunchboxes just don't do it justice. They are just incredible. And the last lunchbox we're going to be looking at is also a Roy Rogers and Dale Evans Double R Bar Ranch box. I think this one was also $10, and I did buy it at the same time as I bought the other one. This one has a lot of different images of Roy and Trigger. We've got Dale Evans with a horse, who I think that's, I don't think that that's Trigger though. But yeah, you get the picture. Just really awesome graphics on it. This one just has a solid colored background on both, or all around, and it's just a really cool piece. So now that we've seen the lunch boxes, I also have some thermoses that I would like to share with you all too, but they don't match the lunch boxes, so you'll see which ones I have. Now that we've seen the lunch boxes, let's go ahead and check out the miscellaneous thermoses that I have. Now again, these don't match the lunch boxes that I just showed you. They were ones that I found randomly at different times. So I guess we can start off with this one, which I think is really cool. 
This is Tarzan, and I believe this is from the 19... Oh, there it is, 1966. The images on here are fantastic. And I think I have one more that's packed away somewhere, and I can't find it. It's Get Smart, the Get Smart Thermos. But these were the ones that I was just able to find while digging through some of my bins. So we've got the avocado green cup on the top with the Aladdin lamp on the top. Very, very fun graphics. Great for a display. You could do Halloween. I mean, you could do so many different things with these vintage thermoses. So that's that one. This one I picked up fairly recently. This one's Hopalong Cassidy. And I think this was $10. Oh, and I forgot to mention the uh, Tarzan thermos. I can't remember if this thrift store had them for like five bucks a piece and they went down to. It was buy one, get one half at the time, and this store is no longer in business. I think they may have been $10 or $5, one of the two, and then they went down half, one of them. You buy one, you get one half. So I paid probably $5 for two of them, and then one for $2.50. So I can't remember. It's been a while. This one I did pay $10 for. Again, Hopalong Cassidy, probably from 1950. There is paint loss all around the rim here, and then there's paint loss going around here, which is all right with me because, again, it's vintage. What do you expect? Perfection? Nope. So this overall has good displayability on it, so I didn't mind paying the 10 bucks for it. And I don't believe that's the original lid. Now this one, Davy Crockett, came with the Roy Rogers lunchboxes. They didn't match. So this one was actually stuck in one of the other lunchboxes. But still, Davy Crockett, I see a lot of his, this stuff at antique shops, and they do want a lot of money for them. So I was really happy to get this one. Now there is a melt mark on the lid of the cap, but that's all right, because again, these are just for display purposes. They're not really meant to be used. So we got that one. We've got this really awesome G.I. Joe one from 1967. Got some really cool scenery on it, and this is a thermos brand. This isn't a Latin. Still very cool. This would be great for like Veterans Day displays and things like that. Because I know at the time these were, or that G.I. Joe came out, we were fighting in Vietnam. Hence the year 1967, we were still in Vietnam at that time. And the last thermos that I would like to share with you all. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It had to have been probably like $5 or something. The booth that I got this out of was having 75% off. So it was a really good price, and I just couldn't say no to it. It's another Aladdin one. It's the Pussycats thermos, and this is probably mid-60s, because look at those clothes, and look at those hairdos. I mean, this is very, like, groovy, almost like mystery machine kind of looking, don't you think? But I think I only got this for, like, $5 or something like that. I think it was 20 and 75%. Yeah, I think it was $20 and then 75% off, so I only paid 5 bucks for this. Again, it's very Mystery Machine, Scooby-Doo-esque, don't you think, with the way these outfits are and the hairstyles? I just think they're really cool, and I do love collecting these and getting this stuff cheap because that's just how I roll. I'm very much frugal in what I buy. So I hope you all liked my vintage firsts video let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item i shared in this video so that's all i have for you today be sure and give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment below subscribe if you haven't already click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when new videos are posted all of the links to my social media accounts via instagram are down below as well where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.